All right, guys. Hey, Doe, why don't you lead us off tonight? Jose, does uh, Eddie say anything to you before he steps into the, uh, that batter's box for the first time? Not really. Just, you know, give me a, like a, like, heads up, like, you know, high with the hand. But, you know, we, we respect each other and it's fun to compete against him tonight. Jose, when, uh, when Rocco came out there, um, did you initially convince him to keep you in for – he looked like he left the mound. It, what What did you say to him? Uh, yeah, like, well, that being confusing, you know, he came out to ask me if he, I, you know, I'm, I want that guy. I say, for sure, I want it. But both of them, we forgot it. Uh, West are coming first in that inning already, so that's why he, then he had to take me out to the ball. Hey, what 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 was the conference with West there? What was he? What did he say? So he came to me and you know, tell me like, hey, don't don't overthink it. Just you know, keep executing our plan and try to keep me on, on the game. So when Rocco came out, didn't you realize that you had to come out uh, for the game there? I know that, but when he asked me, I said, yeah, I want this guy, but. Uh, you know, we, we already have two more busy in, in the same meeting. Do you often, are you usually able to talk Rocco into giving you another batter? Yeah, he came to me and asked me if he, I want that guy, like if he, I feel ready, I say yes. You know, this guy out. Hey, Jose, uh, Matt Shoemaker was talking yesterday about kind of not letting negative thoughts creep in when things aren't going your way. How do you kind of do that? Obviously, like a computer, like a teammate, like, a, you know, like a player, we don't like to lose. That's obviously, but like that's happened already. So I think the, more, the most important thing is, you know, see what we want, what we can do better, you know, make that adjustment, turn the pace tonight. And, you know, tomorrow's another day and came to the Europa with, with that same energy and tried to, to do our best. Hey, Jose, um, Alex Colome is a, is a veteran. He's closed so many games before. Um, as, a, as a fellow pitcher, um, what have you seen from him so far this season and, has, uh, and what's it been like to kind of watch him? Uh, you know, obviously we know who Colome is. Uh, he's been pitching in this, uh, this league for a year. We know he has great pitcher, you know, but he is a, you know, situation or our time we pass through. So, but yeah, like you say, he's a veteran. He knows what to do and, you know, we still believe in him and he's going to be great. You know, that's why we signed him and he's here, he's here for, for help. Jose, what, what has this been like to the, these first 21 games, um, just going through everything you guys have? You know, tough year, obviously. We don't want to be in the position we are right now, but the only uh, thing we can do is just turn the page. Um, in the end of the day, in the end of the month, the team gonna be in the in the in the way we wanna stay, you know, be be on that, out there. Uh, is there anything else, Jose? Thank you. Uh, Rocco did uh, the uh, Wes's meeting with uh, Jose. Uh, slip your mind or, or did uh, uh, did uh, was that related to something other than uh, just uh, a mound visit no Phil uh, I was uh, that that's on me and I was locked in on something else uh, at the time um, I actually called down to the bullpen to get uh, Robles going um, and uh, and yes obviously not uh, not a great moment uh, but obviously I'm, I'm more concerned right now about, you know, everything that went on in the game and, and the result and, uh, and what happened and a little less so on that, but, uh, but yeah, that, that's what happened. 
Hey, Rocco, what, uh, Alex is such a, uh, a veteran guy, and obviously he knows how to get through these moments, but what, I mean, is, what do you guys do to maybe help him when he is kind of experiencing what he has these first 21 games? Yeah, I think a lot of the time, um, you know, the first thing you do is you show confidence in someone and, uh, you know, you, you continue to put them out there in situations that they're familiar with and that they've, uh, you know, where Alex has pitched for a long time and, and pitched very well. And we've seen him. I mean, we've, we've been on the field with him. Uh, I know him personally and I've watched him throw since he was a, a young, young man. Um, and, yeah, he's going through a tough time right now. Um, and I think we can also help him, uh, you know, with some specific things on the mound to get him back to where he needs to be. Uh, and maybe also in some uh, some different types of situations, which could also help too. But uh, we're you know we we will have to obviously uh, you know do everything we can to help to help a player going through a, a difficult time. Rocco uh, Rooker uh, homers Kirilov uh, gets a double that leads to a run. Jorge uh, drives in the run. Uh, Jake gets on base to score a run. How encouraging is it that these are four guys that have. Uh, uh, been below uh, below 200, uh, chipping in finally. Yeah, I mean it's it's actually it's actually great. It's exactly what we what we need. We talk about lengthening our um, our order out and and making sure that we get you know some some good production from from everyone. Um, and and that does a, a lot of things. I mean, it helps with the energy. It helps with uh, the consistency and in, in at bats, and uh, you know forces the other team to to work too. Uh, so those guys did. They, they contributed. They went out there. They had uh, quality at bats, hit some balls good, uh, made the pitcher work. And, and we're going to continue to need that uh, from, from our entire group. And we've got a few guys with some hot starts and some other guys uh, that hopefully are getting going as we speak. Did you get a smile or any kind of show of emotion from Alex after that first, uh, first hit? I didn't see anything. I'm not surprised, though. Uh, he's not one to show a ton of... Uh, a ton of emotion. Um, he's worked hard for that first hit. He's hit some balls really good. Uh, he's put himself in a spot to do it, but that's how baseball works. You know, you never know how it's going to come, when it's going to come. Uh, all you can do is go out there and square the ball up, and uh, and, and he's done that. And uh, I was I was very very happy for him. You've talked about the need to kind of string together consistency in your at bats. Um, is that kind of what you saw out there in the eighth when you guys were able to string a few things together? And I guess. How do you carry that through into these extra inning situations or those uh, continued at bats in the 10th innings of uh, games like this, this season so far? Yeah. Yeah. When, when we get guys out there, get guys in scoring position, you know, we, we have to find ways to, uh, uh, to battle, to put the ball in play. It's not always about hitting a double or a homer as we know. Um, you know, we, we talk about, uh, you know, using the whole field. Um, you know, sometimes we talk about using the whole bat uh, to, to, you know, just find a make, find a way to make it happen. But, um, you know, we've been in a lot of these close ball games and they've been, they've been tough on us. They, they haven't gone, uh, the way we wanted to in a lot of ways, even when we feel like we were doing, uh, what we want to do, uh, we're not getting the results that, that we're looking for. And, and that is tough and it can be frustrating. Uh, I, I'd want to make sure that it's not overwhelming, uh, to our guys because we, we continue to play, uh, some really good tight ball games. I mean, the number of extra inning games and the number of, uh, these types of ball games that we've played through the first, uh, you know, 21 games is uh, it's almost not believable. I mean, it, it, it's it, it's pretty crazy. And uh, you know, when they don't go your way, what you need to do is pick yourself up uh, and and get ready to go the next day. We're not going to play all of our ball games. Are not going to play out like this. But when we do have them, we got to know we can go out there and win these kinds of games. Uh, what did you see from Jose in general? And and obviously you liked what you heard there um, from him. Uh, like, is he getting to that point where you do want to extend him later in games? And and uh, I, I'm guessing you didn't see something that was, you know, it was two runs, but it looked like a, maybe a catchable fly ball and then a blooper um, on the, the two runs there. Yeah, I, I thought Jose threw the ball really well. And uh, he was on track for basically the whole game. Um, you know, probably had a, a few little blips where, uh, you know, and then he was able to, to refine himself um, again all around. I mean, his stuff was good. Uh, I, you know, it's, it's, you know, nothing's really that funny after a game like this, but I, I, I did. I wanted to go talk to him and, and leave him in the game, give him an opportunity to, uh, to pitch. And 
um, he's going to have those opportunities. You know, it's not going to be uh, uh, maybe every start, and we, we usually don't ride our starters out there to, uh, you know, 100, 110 pitches, but um, he's pitching so well right now that you, it makes you want to give him, uh, give him those chances and, and let him keep pitching us towards you said earlier that there were uh, specific things you guys had in mind for Colome. Um, is there like a commonality that you and Wes to see uh, see in his performances early this year? And uh, if you're able to shed any more light onto what those specifics might be? Yeah, well, well, Alex is a is a guy with a very specific uh, skill set. Um, he's a guy that can do different things with his cutter uh, slash slider and. Um, you know, I, I think it's it's tweaking that pitch because that is what he does very well. Uh, it's a pitch that plays against right-handed uh, right-handed hitters. It's a pitch that plays against left-handed hitters very well. Uh, he also mixes in a, a four-seamer uh, every once in a while, and I think in finding ways to take advantage of that pitch, I think will be uh, very important too. But I, I do think it comes down to tweaks because I do think he can do different things with that pitch. He has a good feel for it, uh, and it's going to be the pitch that carries him when he's going well. Mark, well, Matt was talking yesterday about kind of not letting negative thoughts kind of creep in. How, I guess, how is that achievable or is that achievable when things are kind of going this way? Yeah, I think a lot of the time the, the goal is to, uh, you know, you know, wipe away anything that happens and, and move forward uh, with what's going on. I mean, there's, there's nobody, um, in their right mind that could go through what just ha has gone on the last three weeks uh, and not, you know, think about it a little bit and not, and not uh, at times find yourself wondering, you know, what we could do differently or what we could do better. But uh, I do think that you, you do have to find a way uh, to look up and, and know that what we do, uh, we talk about preparation all the time, what we do to get ready for our games, uh, putting ourselves in position to go, um, is, is something that has worked for us very well and worked for a lot of guys in this clubhouse. So uh, I do think knowing that that is in your back pocket is a very nice thing, but uh, you do have to go out there. You have to continue to play hard, which our guys have done, uh, and, and believe that good things have happened. None of us can tell the future. Uh, all we know is what's going on so far this year, and uh, therefore we just have to go out there and do what we think is right and, and what's best for each guy and for the team. And that's what we'll do. Is there any... Uh update on Byron uh, did did you guys uh was it was it a good session during the game or yeah I heard Byron uh I got about four hours uh four consecutive hours of treatment um so he was treated pretty much the whole day and we're going to continue to uh uh treat, treat him tomorrow uh and when we get to the ballpark hopefully we'll have an update on on how he's done overnight and gone into the next day Opniel Batista en la máquina deportiva.com